John Burp always wanted to be a farmer and I personally really love the idea of him being a farmer because while well, his one true hobby is nature, as you can see, I'll show you right now, his one true hobby is nature. Also his bio says that he wants to have a garden and all of that stuff and that's why I really have the idea of him moving to the pleasant view from the big town to start his own farm here here somewhere by the way i am playing in the new pleasant view by well i can't spell this right so i'll just put the name of the creator some somewhere here so yeah in the previous video i've told you how i'm using sun and moon mods to play the scenes too in the way i like and today i want to talk about exact mods that will help you to start your own farm in the scenes too i'll do some tutorials on how to download them and how to install them and how to use them I want to tell you that I'm not an expert and I could do some mistakes because it's just how I use these mods and I could be wrong sometimes but it's just my way of playing this game and today I'll show you how do I organize my Sims 2 farms. Keep in mind that this is the first video of the series because there are just a lot of Sun and Moon mods and I can't just place all of them in one. So there are going to be another videos when I'll be talking about Sun and Moon mods as well. And this is the first part about essential mods. And we are going to use my precious John Barb as an example. <laughs> I really love this family, to be honest with you. Many people don't really like burps, but I really love them and I really love John. I think he's cute. <laughs> oh, by the way, <laughs> it's Bella here. She's looking at us. Oh my God, she's really looking at us. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I decided to start with this fruits collection. Because fruit trees are not really hard to take care of and also downloading this mod is not complicated at all because you don't have to need any additional mods. You just have to download this and in order to download this you have to go to the Sun and Moon Star Factory Tumblr account and then go to the master post which I'll link down below and just grab this link to have your collection. And then you have to install it just like any other CC for The Sims 2. You just have to put it in your downloads folder, in the Sims 2 folder. <laughs> now you can go to your game in the build mode, garden center, gardening, and there are your trees. There are a lot of fruit trees and I'm not going to cover all of the fruit trees because there are a lot of them but you can have like coconut trees you can have papaya trees you can have peaches if you want or you can just have some boring apples <laughs> just like me because i'm kind of boring <laughs> you can have big trees or you can also have the smaller version of these trees like just to give me a second to find yeah here is a small version of the apple tree also, all of the trees are having seasonal skins, so trees will be different. Now it's spring and that's why these apples are blooming. I love placing these trees in my sim slots, even if they are not farmers, because it's just really nice and cute to have, for example, cherries in your garden you know you can just go and have some cherries you don't have to be a farmer to do this thing okay so i think for john we'll put here some apple trees i think they will just grow here for no reason because you don't really have to put trees by yourself just for example i am now living in the place that's supposed to be an apple farm in the past and that's why when my parents bought this piece of land, it was just it was just filled with apple trees. Apple trees were everywhere. And maybe that's why I love apple trees so much. <laughs> so 
So what can you do with these trees? As I already said, these trees don't really need any any special tending, any special caring. Still, you can tend them. It's not really doing something, but you can do this. And also you can talk to the trees. Child of the nature. <laughs> he is so cute. I love John so much. He is really cute. So, once you've placed your trees, you have to wait for one day in spring or summer. I'm not sure about autumn because my trees are not giving me any fruits at autumn, but maybe I'm just doing something wrong. But still, after placing, you'll have to wait one day and now you can go and collect them. Some fruits will be just laying on the ground and you can go and eat these fruits or also you can dispose them or save for later. If you'll choose save for later, you'll see we'll put this in the inventory and now you can have this in your inventory. But if you will click eat, your sim will of course eat these fruits and I think Janice deserves this. <laughs> this peach wait where you going i want to see your eating peach you deserve this this peach is all yours i love peaches but peaches are not growing in my area it's too cold for them here and it's really sad yeah now while john is enjoying his peach we could go and have him harvest pomegranates and have him harvest another trees. Once you've clicked harvest, you'll see him will get a basket. And they will harvest these fruits into the basket. And now a basket of fruits is in your inventory. Well, not your, but your sims inventory. That's how it looks. It's really cute. I love this basket. It's, it's nice. What you could do with these fruits? First of all, of course, you can eat these fruits, as I already shown to you. But also, if you have a basket of fruits, you can stack them in your fridge. So your sims will get the groceries here. Also, of course, you can sell these fruits. I personally prefer using them using business. I don't really selling them just from inventory i don't think it's fun but of course you can also just sell them from here and it wasn't really expensive but that's fine it was just <laughs> one set fruit also if you have another sun and moon smarts you can use these fruits to craft and other things but we'll talk about this later and now we are going to take a look at the another Sun and Mood set. It's like a crop set and creator says there are something about 40 plants in this set. And in order to download it, you have to go to the Plum Bob Keep. Well, you can, of course, download this from the Sun and Moon Tumblr, but I personally prefer to grab this here. So now you have to go down and also you'll see what kind of plants you'll have with this mat so now you have to choose will you have non-seasonal garden crops or will you have seasonal garden crops i personally prefer seasonal garden crops but if you don't want seasons to affect your crops you will have to download non-seasonal garden crops but i personally prefer to take this one also here you can have crop signs also you can have these produce baskets but i personally prefer to use produce baskets from another sun and moon set and if you want to know more about it you can watch my previous video also you can have scarecrows also garden set and garden pots once you've downloaded everything you need you will have to Install this mod just like any other mods. And now you have to go to the build mode, garden center, gardening. And now you can see all of your new and really gorgeous crops. Also, I love using sun and moon's gardening pots and planters. 
I'll show you what I've done here. I'm not proud of it. I did it really quickly, so it just looks like that. <laughs> you can place your crops in these pots. What is that, by the way? It's spinach. It's spinach. I, I don't know how to spell it in English because we have like a spinach. Spinach, maybe? I'll call it spinach. I think spinach is, is a nice name. From this moment, I, I, I've just, I, I just gave this plant a new name. It's spinach now. Spinach. Okay, so we can, so we can place our spinach. <laughs> we can place our spinach in this pot. You can also place your trees, your small or maybe even big trees in these parts. Well, I'll place a little tree here and I'll place, I don't know, I'll place cucumbers here. And <laughs> now we have spinach, cucumbers and this tree. It's cra- what? What is that? Wait a minute. So it's just an apple, so... What's even the crap apple is? Can you please tell me <laughs> what is that? You can also place your crops right on the ground. I really love these pumpkins and I really want a lot of pumpkins to, <laughs> to hang out here. And you can also place your crops in these planters as well. You can place a leek here, for example. And of course, you can place your crops in here. So let's just place some beets here. By the way, guys, do you eat beets in your area? I I just really interested to know. Please tell me in the comments, do you eat beets? And do you love beets if you're eating beets? Please, just please tell me. And by the way, I forgot to tell you, but you can also have this thingy. Just to keep it in your sims inventory. To harvest some crops autonomously. So... Here is that. I'm not using it, I'm doing everything by myself, but if you're annoyed by that, you can use this thingy. Okay, so what you can do with your crops? You can, of course, water them, you can tend them, you can inspect them, and you can compost them if you want. I wonder if John is happy right now. <laughs> I think he must be. He loves nature. Is that okay? Was that okay? Was that okay, John? Wait, where are you going? You don't like me, right? Why? Okay, he doesn't want to look at me. Okay, okay. I'm taking it personally and I'm offended. So, after you will wait for some time, you will be ready to harvest your crops. And now we can harvest our pumpkins. We can, in fact, also harvest seedling plant by doing that you will have another crop in your inventory and you can place it if you want but if you click harvest pumpkin you will harvest actual pumpkin and once you've done you will have pumpkin in your inventory you can stack pumpkin in the fridge and of course you can also sell your things as well as I already said in my previous video, which I highly recommend you to watch, you can place your vegetables in these produce baskets. And if your sim is having business, you can sell these things right from this basket. And of course, just like with fruits, you can just sell these products right from your inventory. So guys, that's it for today. There were two mods that you will probably need to start your farm in The Sims 2. Well, I really love these two mods and uh, I hope you like them as well. Of course, if you haven't known about them before me. <laughs> in the next videos, we are going to talk about corn, rice, wine making, also floor making. And of course, we are going to talk about farm animals. I hope you enjoyed the video and... And I'd love to see you next time.